Alright guys, um, I haven't made a video for a while, but I had to make this one here. It's a PlayStation 3 related, if you read the title and know what that's all about. Um, but it's spring break, it's been since last Friday or whatever you want to say. But I've been too lazy and hey, it's spring break and that's why. But, I thought I'd get up today and well, we had to clean a lot, so. But anyways, uh... I thought I'd make this video today because if you haven't noticed, there was a PS3 update yesterday, which would be April Fool's Day, April Fool's Day yesterday, and today is April 2nd. But um, an update came out, and what it basically did was take the other OS option out of the PlayStation 3's uh, settings. So you cannot run another operating system, such as like Linux, uh, Ubuntu, or Yellow Dog, which is kind of asinine. I mean, some people, you know, don't really care. It's they never used otherwise. But like for me, I used it here and there. But you know, it's it's kind of it's dumb because you paid for that feature on there. I, I got this back in 2007 and I heard about this. I thought that was really cool and you know, this is a feature that you got on here and you paid money for and you've had it. And then they took it away. That's not right. But, um... You know, it's different on the you know, slim PlayStation uh, 3's. Um, they do not have that option and you didn't pay for it. So that's fine. But this one, you pay for it. So anyways, let's just run it quick. I haven't updated it yet for that reason, because I want to make a quick little video in here. So I need to have my keyboard. You can see this. Keyboard and mouse plug in here. This My PlayStation 3 is 2007 model. It is 80 gigabyte hard drive. It came with it. I plan to update it someday. Who knows. Um, it has this little flat thing. Which means we have the compact flash SD and memory stick. It's got the chrome shiny thingy and it's got four USB ports. I don't know if you can see that. There's one, two, three, four. And it plays PS2 and PS1 games. So I love that. This is an amazing and I'm glad I got my PS3 when I did. But, uh, anyways, I'm gonna need a mouse pad for this. So let's go to the Mac. I'm gonna steal you for a second. And I just heard something like that. Go here. Well, what the heck was that? Nothing. I'm hearing things. Anyways. Oh, and we got a new SD card. This time it's not 256 megabytes. Anyways, let's turn on the system. Let's switch over to the HDMI video input. System side, there she is. Software update. Please update. But we're not going to right now. Let's see. We go into system settings, which wherever I can find it, there she is. And we go into system information. I guess I got to cover this. It is 3.15. And we get. We don't even have a full gigabyte of. Well, yeah, we do. We have three gigabytes left on my hard drive. Oh dear. Anyways, as you can see, install other OS and default system will probably be gone when I update it. And I don't like that. But anyways, let's change it to other OS. We have Yellow Dog installed right now. I used to have Ubuntu, but I just experimented around and thought I'd give uh, old. Yellow Dog a try, I thought maybe it fixed the screen resolution problem, which it seems to be the whole problem in um, well, Linux on the PlayStation 3. Um, there's always a bar of space, like this much space of like black around left over, and I hate it when it does this because it always takes a while for it to respond back. There it is, you can see a little tuck sitting up there. It's booting. We will not be able to see this anymore. And the reason behind it apparently is because GeoHot, um, 
the guy that made Black Rain for the iPhone and iPod Touch to jailbreak it. He was experimenting around with the PlayStation 3 and got into like the, what was it, Ring Zero of the, damn, I can't remember. It has to do with the processor, I believe, and whatnot, and maybe not the processor, I can't remember. But, but he did it through the other OS. Um, yes, start. Um, he did it through the other OS feature, and that made Sony get all concerned, and we got to wait. There we go. Yellow Dog Linux 6.2 booting. It's starting networking. You know, yes, I think the Wi-Fi does work in this one, which is good. That was always a problem with Ubuntu on here. It did not recognize the Wi-Fi hardware. Which is asinine as well. We're gonna have to make this two parts, aren't we? Maybe. I don't need to show you the whole system, do I? Ooh, we got a mouse with the thingy. And see if I can remember my username. Hold on. Yes, we did. Now you're gonna hear my squeaky. <laughs> and for some reason, there's a loading logo is on a TV, which doesn't look very professional, if you ask me. And the desktop, which I changed the wallpaper, as you can see. And then this thing always pops up. Alright, so if you can see here, from the edge of the screen, there's a thick, there's a bar, black, empty, unused space around the whole thing. This is exactly the same with Ubuntu, um, except for Ubuntu's dis uh, screen resolution was messed up, so that everything was like really huge in the small space. Uh, eventually, we used the terminal and entered codes and such and whatnot to fix it to this, but then it's hard to read some of the text like it is now. Although, it seems Yellow Dog did it by itself. Let's get that over there. Um, and fix that problem. But, as you can see by the, it's just a basic desktop. There's like a little start type button. Um, it's, if you ask me, this Yellow Dog is not very organized. Or set up professionally. It's kind of strange. Really strange. Um, this is where I believe the current app is running. Here's the desktop spaces. That's strange. Here's the applications. We got Firefox, Thunderbird. Uh, this is Pigeon. Uh, this is the Rhythm Box. And then we got Open Office, the terminal, just, just some gadgets at the end here. I believe I had to go into. Where is. Internet. Wireless Network Manager. And I have to connect. There she blows. There's my wireless. And we just click connect. And I remember it was like really slow. So some people are not going to miss this feature. Are not going to really care. Um, but so it's kind of nice to have, you know. So see, I minimized it and went to there. I'm gonna just click Firefox. See how long it's gonna take for that to launch. Come on, Firefox. Hey, it's up. Let's go to Facebook. It's loading. That is today's. Ah, there she is. See, this is this would be really nice feature if everything else, if everything worked nice and pristine and everything and squad la but I don't know Sony I'm the guy said he might he said do not update he's gonna have it where he's gonna get a custom firmware which is gonna allow you to still install uh, run PlayStation Network 
and have another OS on, option on there. So I might wait a little bit depending on how long it takes and I don't know. So thanks for watching. Sony, uh, bye. But there's the video for today. Thanks for watching and we should have another video up soon with this guy. So thanks for watching.